Hi everybody. This lesson is a doozy, but it's a really wonderful investigation for kids. So please bear with me um, in this video. So we are composing a new shape from composite shapes. This is a little different from yesterday because yesterday students just created new shapes with smaller shapes. Today they're breaking down a bigger shape and then building it back up and then making new shapes with the shapes within it. Engage New York uses tangrams for this lesson. And so students are going to be exploring a tangram. Before I start my mini lesson, I just want to talk about the materials. The teacher is going to need a tangram, and every single student is going to need a tangram. I would have these, uh, Engage New York has these on a big sheet of paper and it has kids cutting them out with you. I would pre cut them, not all the little shapes, just this big square to get kids started to make sure we don't have any mess ups before we get into the actual exploration. And then um, you need scissors. Every kid needs scissors. And you need a baggie for every kid because we're coming back to these tangrams and so we wanna make sure they can save them. Great, so you are starting by showing the back of your cutout tangram, asking students what shape it is, then flip it around and show them the front. Have students talk about what shapes they see inside. They're quadrilateral. They can turn and talk. And then talk about how we're gonna cut apart this shape into smaller shapes and see what we notice. The first cut you're gonna make is into two triangles. And as you cut, students are gonna cut. You wanna be super clear with what students are doing with scissors when they're done, where they're putting them, how they're staying safe. This lesson could really fall apart if we don't give super clear observable directions around the scissors. So take some time to think about that. Great, so you cut apart this shape. You talk about what you have now. Now you have two triangles. Talk about in this triangle what, sh what shapes kids see, what shapes kids see in this triangle. And then you're gonna focus on cutting this triangle. You're gonna take this triangle, you're gonna, um, sorry, you're gonna cut it. You're gonna ask students what shape they see now. Now they see two triangles. We use two triangles to make a bigger triangle and then set these two triangles apart. Then you are just focusing on this triangle. And you wanna make sure, um, kids can have a little trouble like modeling what you're doing, and so make sure that you tell them you're putting the long end down in front of you. That just will help kids align. And so then you're gonna ask kids what shapes they see, and you're gonna cut off this top triangle. You're gonna ask them, after we cut off this top triangle, what shape do we see? We see a quadrilateral. It has four sides. Hmm, now what shapes do we see inside of this quadrilateral? Turn and talk. Oh, we see two triangles, and we see two different quadrilaterals. Then kids are gonna cut off their parallelogram with you. What shape do we see now? Oh, we see another smaller quadrilateral. Then students are just gonna cut all their pieces out and they are gonna try to put the square back together. It is going to be really, really tempting to help our students put the square back together. We really want them to struggle. We want them to persevere. We want them to like practice their spatial reasoning with these pieces putting the square back together. Some of our kids will get it, some of our kids won't. That's okay, let them try. Celebrate students who are trying. Once your timer goes off, you're going to stop that activity and move right into guided practice where you're just going to give kids another opportunity to build new shapes using the shapes that they just got from decomposing this huge square. And so you're going to have them get out the two big triangles, make sure they know it's the two big ones, and see what shapes they can make. We're of course going to have kids put them together to make one big triangle, and then we might have other kids put them together to make one big square. And you wanna share both ways. We really wanna to get to the idea that depending on how we put our shapes together, we get different composite shapes. Then you have students get out their two little triangles and their um, big square, and you are gonna let them explore what shapes can we make with these three shapes. They're gonna come up with lots and lots of different shapes, right? Some might make a trapezoid, Others might make a rectangle. Others might make a bigger triangle, right? And some, sorry, it would probably look, well, maybe they'd make a hexagon. I don't know exactly if these sides would fit together. Uh, we'll check in our meeting. But they'll make lots of shapes and then have them try to make a different shape from their partner, share out what they use, share out their composite shape and the shapes that made up their shape. And that is that.
So just to review, we are starting with our square. From our square, we get a triangle and another triangle. Forgive my misspelling. This triangle gets broken down into two small triangles. And then this triangle becomes a trapezoid when you take off the top triangle. And then this trapezoid becomes a smaller trapezoid when you take off the parallelogram. So square to two triangles to two smaller triangles to a trapezoid because you take off the big triangle to a smaller trapezoid because you take off the parallelogram. We are going to practice this in our meeting, so please write this down. We want to be super fluid and clear with the process that we're taking kids through so we are not fumbling um, as we are going through it. That is that.